Hey guys, welcome back. So believe it or not, this is a $20 lot of equipment that I found on Facebook Marketplace. The, uh, the guy selling it didn't want anything to do with two-stroke anymore, so he was purging everything and even threw in like 15 bottles of uh, two-cycle oil uh, to make fuel mix. It was, I think it was super tech um, to get everything gone. And as far as I'm concerned, that pretty much makes this lot of equipment free with that throw in. So we've got a, a Craftsman blower, a Cola trimmer, home light, two Craftsmans, a Troy built, and a Red Max. So they're all missing components. He was doing uh, stuff similar to me, picking stuff off the curb and fixing it to fund his own hobbies. So we'll have to do uh, carbs, pole starts, air filters if they deserve them. They all pull over with the exception of uh, the Red Max, which is unfortunate. But I wanted to kind of film this as an intro since it's obviously winter time right now, everything's frozen, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna be getting to these. I'll likely start with the blower uh, and the McCullough. And that home light is actually the same model as the one that I didn't fix in one of my early videos. So we might revive that one with using parts from this one uh, later on but yeah look for these coming up all right well out of that $20 lot of equipment I'm gonna start with this blower it's a uh, an older craftsman and uh, it's extremely sun faded believe it or not that's supposed to be uh, red and it looks almost white but it's fairly complete as far as I can tell it's got a broken line that I noticed and uh, so minimum we'll have to do lines, maybe a carb kit, but I'm gonna start off with putting some two cycle mix uh, directly into the cylinder. I'm gonna pull that spark plug, take a look at it since it is a little rusted. Hopefully it's in good shape on the inside and uh, we'll go from there. Let's get that plug out and take a look. It's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Hopefully that the cylinder's not rusted. Hope that spark plug's good too. Let's pull it over. I'm not very optimistic with this one. All right. <laughs> well, I'm pretty surprised with that, but uh, let's move it inside. And we're set up inside. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the uh, the carb to see what numbers are on that for kit purposes. And we know we need lines. Take a look at the tank. And uh, yeah, I still can't believe that thing ran with how that plug looked, but we'll get into this. This is all deteriorated, falling apart. We're going to need another foam filter. The other line just broke, both of them broke. Yeah, they're hard as a rock. Let's take a look here. Wall bro. Let's 
just so you can see. Walbro. Looks like a WT-875A. So we've got original carb, that's good. We should be able to get kit for that. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the tank. So we know we need lines. The tank actually looks pretty clean. We'll probably spray that out with some carb spray. It looks like water's in there. And we probably need a new filter. But yeah, let me look up that carb kit, see if I have it. I don't think we'll need a primer bulb. That's pretty good. And it's not clogged, you can hear the air move, so I think we're in pretty good shape. This might be an easy one. Now I guess we should open this up first before jumping to buying an, a kit for this. <clears throat> so we'll take a look. Likely needs gasket diaphragm with the uh, fuel lines being so deteriorated as well. Okay. Yeah. It actually cracked. <laughs> yep, it'll need a new gasket diaphragm kit. And if you're curious, this was the fuel that came out of it. It's pretty murky. And there's water in there. It's kind of hard to tell with the, the curve of the glass, but new filter, new lines, new carb kit, clean out the gas tank. Uh, I'll look up that number and uh, I'll bring you back when I have it. All right, well, a couple days later and I got some parts in. Um, for this carb, I got the, uh, the K20 WAT kit that's the full rebuild kit if you wanted just the gasket diaphragm it's d20 wat so we have that and then i got just a generic tune-up kit from amazon mainly because it has the uh, air filter element that needs to be replaced it also has the fuel filter spark plug lines and primer bulb i don't have a lot of faith in these uh, chinese spark plugs i'd rather use a champion that's actually a champion that's in there but it needs to be replaced and it already came in the kit so we're just going to use all of this on this blower so i'll bring you back i'm going to get this cleaned up <clears throat> and ready to be taken apart and have the kit put in and i'm going to get this uh this tank ready to to put lines in as well so i'll bring you back when that's done all right got this blown off so let's get into it
All right, well, that one put up a fight, but we're all clean here. And I, uh, I matched up the gaskets best I could. This one was obviously destroyed, but this is the right one for this specific carb. Here's the gasket diaphragm for the other side. So we'll get rolling, get this back together. I took a look at the, the lines that came out of here, and we got a really small diameter for the filter feed into the carb and a, maybe a medium-sized one for the return. And these two are the ones that came with the kit. And my guess is we could probably use this one for the return, even though it's probably slightly bigger than we need, And but we won't be able to use this for the, the feed. So I went to my stash of lines and I got the correct size one so I guess this is strike one for this kit we got the wrong size fuel line for the uh, the carburetor feed so we'll get moving on this
All right, new filter. This will need to be oiled, but I'm gonna leave it as is for testing. And there's fuel in here. And we're purging. Almost forgot to swap that spark plug out. So yeah, it's original champion. What you can't see is there's a lot of debris inside uh, down in the insulator, so definitely don't want to use this one for much longer. I'm going to put the one in from the kit and uh, take the chance here. It's going to be fine. Okay, let's try this thing. All right. do it for this one uh, I think it runs pretty good it's a little bit of an ugly duckling so we might have some issues getting it sold because of that but considering people are trying to sell non-working ones in my area for 30 40 dollars I should have no issues getting maybe 60 50 on the low end for this one and uh, get my money back out of the equipment lot that this came out of so as far as parts go, the rebuild kit, I think, was six, seven bucks. The tune-up kit, uh, 13, 14 bucks. Um, getting the right size line out of my stash and then a filter because the barb on the filter that came in the tune-up kit didn't fit on the smaller line. I'd say we're probably in the range of 20, 25 bucks uh, with parts into this one. So, yeah, I think that'll about do it. Thanks for watching.